What's up guys? Trick Diggers coming to you. Sunday morning. Out here with brother man William's son, Dirty Boy Will. Out the uh, Valley of Dreams this morning. Right here where we left off last time. So let me flip you around. The sun's right in my face. I think it's going to be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 58, 59 for a high. Gorgeous digging weather. We got all day long to uh, continue where we left off, no trench rain. style. No rain today in the forecast. I think it's going to get good. All right, guys. Check this out. Remember last time, right at the very end, I mean, it was dumping on us, too. There's our big pile of our AB anhydrous bushes. Any more we find, we'll put there. There's actually one laying there, but anyway, we're gonna get back down into here. I gotta clean my camera off a little bit. I don't know if we're into a cap or if maybe they just threw a little bit of soil over top of the very bottom of the dump. But last time I was here, I got down, it collapsed a little bit from the rain. Let me clean my camera. So last time I was here, I got down almost three feet. A couple of hunters going, hopefully they got a big one. Or they missed. I don't know. It's about the fourth shot we didn't heard in the last 15 minutes. But uh, about three feet down, I hit a clay soil mixture. Thought it was bottom, but it's soft. So I went down through it, and there was actually bottles. You guys seen that bitters? That real nice bitters came out. And also off camera, a real pretty green turn mold mineral water came out as well. So. There's round bottoms coming out, there's broken blobs, there's earlier stuff coming out down in that bottom layer. <clears throat> so it may get even deeper. But me and Will is gonna connect our spots today. We're gonna open this up real nice and wide. Happy birthday to my brother man, Zach. He turns 18 today, so happy birthday, Zach, brother man. We're gonna start digging, guys. Stay tuned for the action. I think this is gonna be one for the books. Yeah, See, we were literally just sitting here before we started digging, joking about what the heck we was going to find today. And I was like, somebody's going to pull an embossed blob. That's my prediction. And I was like, hopefully we get into something else. Literally sitting here digging for like 10 minutes. Coming down? Yeah, 10 minutes. I'm pretty, I pulled it out because I thought it was Following slick. the hole. Embossed blob. <laughs> embossed blob for the wheel. I fussed at him for pulling it early, but... So, the Reiner's Co. Huntingdon, PA. Oh, cool, man. Embossed box. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Right now it's off, only uphill from here. Right off the back, guys. Sweet. Look at that. And that was down Comment. in that clay. Yeah, let me hold it for a that second. That clay down there. In the clay? Man, I'm way below that. I know. The Reiner's Company, guys. It says, yep, Huntington. Hunting done. Yeah. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Uh, I don't With know. With the D O N? Yeah, it's a D O N. Oh, you okay. Yeah. Hunting done PA? It's Hunting done County. Ooh, that's a nice applied top, too, buddy. That's an early one? Yeah, 1880s. Nice. 1880s applied top beer for the wheel right off the bat. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> See you back. Guys, Will's got an embossed med in the hole. The blob was right over here, so like a foot over. I just felt embossing underneath. Right in this clay, so it's kind of... Uh, Charles W. Dufresne, De Apothecary, Baltimore. Oh, that is cool, Will. <laughs> That's real cool. We were just talking about how every druggist we've pulled has been something different. Yeah, and they're from all over, too. All we got over stuff the from place. Cle what, St. Louis and Baltimore, New York. All kinds of stuff. That's awesome, man. Charles Dufresne. Comment down below. Dufresne, F-R-E-H-N, apothecary. I'm pretty sure that's not a very common Baltimore med, but I haven't dug. There's probably like 200 different Baltimore meds. Blown so. in mold, tool, oh, yeah. cork top. 1890s to about 1905 era, guys. That's cool. It's a sweet bottle, Will. Look at you. Two already yep. embossed bottles. Same exact freaking layer, literally, like just a foot over. You can see where he's at, and then I'm just a couple feet down over, right on the same layer working. So 
Only a matter of time before I strike, but Will's got two already. Awesome day so far. Guys, See back. I don't know. Will's killing me, but I'm working up the hill a little ways. It's a little shallower. Right in the clay on the bottom. I got something amber. Something amber right here, guys. It's a good layer. Nope. Damn. Slick walrus head. Blown in mold, tooled cork top. Let's see if the bottom says anything. Park Davis. Oh, so it is. PD and Company. See the PD and Company? So, chemical or a poison Park bottle, it could have been. Could have been a paper label poison. Again, circa 1890s to about 1905 era. Sweet. Park Davis. Hopefully some embossed stuff is waiting. You can see there's like an orange layer up in there. But it seems like the majority of the stuff is down laying right on the bottom in this clay. It's hard packed clay. Keep working at it slowly. See Guys, that? I'm just working up this layer right here. Just pulling the bank back. And uh, check this cool thing out. just popped out. It's like a checker piece. Let's get a star on it. Pretty cool Back star. Maybe. I don't know what it would be. Comment down below if you've seen that particular design before. There's the front of it, real nice and shiny. And the back's got a star on it. So, I don't know, guys. Been scarce for me so far today. And Will's is running out too. So, we're just going to keep trying to find that next pocket. Stay tuned for the action. Guys, I got something down here in the clay layer. You can see it. It's a crown top. It's a plied top crown top. So it's British, I would say. <laughs> but look at the weird design on it. I don't know. I'm going to hand the camera to William, son. Somewhere back at the car, I must have dropped my pick out of the bucket. So I'm going to actually use a spoon that I dug here for my digging extraction tool for the time being we're gonna spoon it spoon it spoon it out the handle. handle the handle of the spoon here that clay is kind of tough to work with it's sticky but it ain't it's not real tough tough to yeah but you with. can't like slide There's it out a lot out. of metal and stuff mixed in there no it can't just slide it out or wiggle it like we did in some other does You can see pottery. It's a weird shape. Smashed right up against it. And Could it be? I don't know if they ever made like crown top whiskeys or something. There was like a little cruet, little sugar creamer thing. I don't know what that could be. It's though. getting like squared off like a whiskey or something. There's been some weird stuff come out of here. So. There has been some, some really unique stuff come out of here. People to me, it's looking money. like a sauce. Look at that. Right beside it. Another bottle? Oh, in, what is it? That one broke. That was a champagne top. Oh. A nice double collar applied a top. One. Big wide top. Yeah, that was a monster bottle. Yeah. That was a big one. Gallon size or something. I'm drinking up back here. plate thing right up on top of it. Does it feel like it's going to be tall? Whatever it is. I don't think it's going to be real tall. But I ain't seen no movement on it yet either. So I ain't sure. I'm just going to go down the side of it and try to create a little gap where I can slide her out of there. I'm going to be starting to have caveman on my side. Here it comes. You ready? Yeah. It's like a whiskey. Oh, what look at it. Good guy. What is it? That is so cool. Elements Royal Embrocation for Horses. What the heck? Manufact <laughs> it says Manufactory Slough. Oh, that's in England. Oh, that is so cool, man. It's like Southern Applied England, Applied Crown Top. That's so weird. So that's probably like 1910, English horse era. medicine. That's so weird. Look at that, guys. Elements Royal Embrocation for Horses. That's so weird. <laughs> I didn't even know that existed. That's a neat bottle for the trap. Yeah. yeah. See back.
Guys, check it out. Pretty sure I got another early one of those Dr. JGB. I can see the J JG right there, and you can see the crudeness to it. Look at the the whittle on this thing. So I just got to uncover the top underneath the here. So Will, you want to finish recording this for me? This one's nice and out in the open too. You can see laying right in that bottom clay layer. Literally that embrocation for horses came from right here. And then right here, I'm just pulling, pulling this down, working just underneath of the root system. And it seems to be where the glass is, is uh, congregated here. So let me throw my glove back on and we should be about ready to get this thing out. I think it's gonna be identical to the one I dug earlier. It's an earlier Hydros variant, I'm pretty sure. But you can see the top starting to show there. Use your spoon? No, I'm not using my spoon. It's going up underneath that little last root right there. A long top on it. Was the other one that long? I don't remember. Maybe not. I don't think it there. was. It was it looked like a squat. Dang, it's trying to break your camera. Boom. Gotta get that root out of there. Yeah, there we go. Maybe this one is a little bit different. I it is. The other one had it like a neck was half half the length. Here it comes. <clears throat> yeah, three piece mold. A oh, three piece. So it's a little tiny bit newer. Doctor Seeger so and Hodges. 80s. Double collar, plied top. Improved panel. Yeah, improved panel. Real nice and crude too, guys. So yeah, a lot of views are mistaken. This is another super light green. Look at that light green. Yeah. A lot of views are mistaken these for the sun, the Seagirt and Sun, which is around 1890s to about 1915-20s era. But you can see clearly, this has got a real nice applied top. Some the three-piece mold. You can see the line going across here and then connecting. So this was put together in three pieces, and that was 70s, 80s style of uh, bottle making. And then on the bottom, it says Seagirt and Hydros. The sun Hijos. wasn't even around yet. Man, what a beautiful bottle. Look at that. Still full of Seagirt and yeah. Hydros. That'll get, you drunk. That'll get you started. <laughs> I'm going to try to dump that out. Hopefully the pressure doesn't crack it, but that's a beautiful bottle. They were pretty good glass. I kept my other one that I first dug. This one, look here. So last week, right here, this week, yeah. right there. Two beautiful 1870s, 1880s. Same exact layer. Gorgeous right? bitters in the hole. That's that's my third one today. Yes. See back. Guys, up a little bit higher where the high just came from right there. You can see actually where the top was going through. Got a little uh, med or apothecary or something in the hole right here. You can pull that one out. I'm tired of taking my gloves off. Here we go. <laughs> it's a blown in mold, tooled cork top. Is it smooth, Dave? Slick. No, it's probably 1890s, 1905 period. Looks to be about where we're digging at right now. Little, it was a little bit earlier down in the very, very bottom, but. Yep, nice little apothecary or chemical bottle. That one should glow real nice and green though. Oh yeah. In the black light. No markings anywhere else. All right. See that. All right, guys. We've been digging a lot of broken pottery, china plates, sugar dishes, and uh, I just popped one out. Right, working in the clay right there. I already wiped it off and everything, but it's whole intact. This little like butter pat or. Little saucer for yeah, cheese or teacup. Yeah. Look at the pretty design on that. Would you like a spot of tea, sir? We have been pulling teacups and stuff out of here. It's vitrified John Maddock and Son, England, Bearsford. Bearsford. With a lion. Pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, design on that and no damage. That's the best part. So yeah, stuff is coming out of the sticky clay of all places. Craziness. Love it though. Stuff is coming out super clean. See that? Guys, I just popped out that cool little mucilage. 
still has a little applicator sponge down inside of it there and then just working right down on the bottom a nice little spool link little aqua double collar blown in mold tooled cork top base embossed carters nice little carter spool link 1890s just dropped out there so now we're changing into like the glue and ink little pocket here you can see there's still a lot of pottery and stuff coming out but nice little glue and a carter spool link starting to pick up a little bit working up the hill another small little pocket see yeah, that? working way down in here and i just happened to peek up in the top for a minute and right there look looks like we got a soda bottle just under the surface of the ground let's see what we got oh it's another one of them real long ones it's like the third one of them real long ones i've pulled out no embossing yeah i think it was some kind of a mineral water but these are uh Damn, they flashed up a lot yeah they did these ones are bad yeah probably american <laughs> i don't know what these are guys they're real slender a lot, lot thinner than the beers and stuff sure. we're pulling I'm sure water. probably is a mineral water there's a lot of that stuff coming out of here but all right see that's all i've been pulling is anheuser bushes for a while now you can see the pile is growing over there i got some more to add to it but i just popped out this little teeny tiny amber something i don't know if it's embossed or not but it's worth checking out it's a little guy here it is Looks like a little pill bottle. Oh, oh man. Dag nab it. Like a kidney pill? Yeah, like a little kidney pills or liver pills. It's a sweet little honey amber. Glowing in mold. Look at that little guy. Little teeny tiny pill bottle, guys. Real pretty. 1890s to about 1905 period. We're gonna keep on going at it about maybe two hours of light left beautiful out here though see you back all right guys possible i got a little druggist in the hole right here and i haven't done anything to it so i don't know if it's gonna say anything but here it is right on the right on the bottom again chilling in the clay let's see yeah it says something it says something on it. What's that? Is it another? 100 cc. That's oh, oh, it's embossed. Yeah. Oh my, hold this. <laughs> hold this, guys. I swear it says something crazy on it. Are you ready? Zoom in a little bit. Medical Department. Oh. U.S. Navy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man. Yeah, guys, look at that 100 cc bottle. <laughs> from the metal department usn which is the u.s navy that's united so states cool. navy that's my first ever like military related yeah when it's at the u.s hospital i was thinking like the civil war bottle was, hey. look at that man that's so cool u.s navy in the hole guys yeah <laughs> see you back guys what a great little dig we just had will started off the show strong with the blob from huntington pennsylvania the reiner's company nice 1880s applied top blob followed it up with the charles friend apothecary out of baltimore and then a whole bunch of wines mineral waters milk glass pieces the fuse box Banner Electric Company. Banner Electric, some copper pieces. And then Trav came in and stole the show with the Elements <laughs> Royal Embrocation for Horses. We still don't know what that is. The nice uh, applied top, Seagirt and High Joe's bitters. Applied crown top, teal mineral water. Medical Department of the United States Navy little star chip poker chip thing chemical park davis and company little base embossed carter spool link and a uh, mucilage or glue bottle little butter pat or tea saucer 
That's our keepers for the day right there, guys. There's our pile of the Anheuser bushes growing. Big old pyramid down there. We uh, connected our spots, went all the way up to the top to where it kind of petered out. It was only like four or five inches deep and just nothing. So we turned and started going back down the hill and you can see a little bit more left and we got more this way. And this is just one of our test spots. So there's gonna be many more like this. But that's it guys, we gotta hike back up out of here as we pack up. Great, great dig. How about it? Emboss meds, a blob, vet bottle, bitters. Can't ask for too much more than that. No fossils today, but that's all right. Great dig. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. See you next time, guys. Take them.